Okay, so today we're going to be working with an RSS feed in Node. So if you don't know what an RSS feed is, just a XML file stored on a server where there is some content. All this XML file really is is a summary of all of the content on the website. So for instance, like title, links and IDs, so you can just drag this file down and then you know all of the content on the site and then from there you can work with the data. So that's a quick summary of what an XML file is. This is actually an example of a YouTube XML file. So you can see that there's a title, there's a link, there's a publish date, there's an author and a video ID. Now in our app.json we're going to be using fs and rss-parser and then we're going to be making an instantly instantiated function because we want to work with asynchronous code. Then we'll make an instance of this RSS parser. Now we will tell the RSS parser to pass my YouTube channel's RSS feed. So if you want to find what the RSS feed is for a website, just try to type whatever website it is and an RSS feed. Usually there will be some kind of guide on how to get the URL to the RSS feed. But on YouTube, it's very simple. It's just YouTube feeds video.xml and then a question mark and then channel ID and then whatever your channel ID is. You can also do this for playlists. So once you have gotten that URL, you can just await this parser URL and then you'll get the feed. Then this is just a quick value for storing the results for later. This doesn't really have so much to do with the RSS feed. Essentially, I'm just taking the RSS feed and then the title of that and then just formatting it so it can be a valid file name. And I can actually see a little mistake here. I'm calling them JS, but actually I want to call them JSON. The next thing I'm doing is just checking if that file name already exists. Then I'm just going to be using acquire to load those items in into this items list. And if it doesn't exist, we're just going to keep it an empty array. Then we're going to be mapping through this. So if you do feed.items, you can actually map through all of the items. Now, the reason why I'm using map and not just uh, for each is actually that there is an internal for each, but that is not asynchronous and if you were doing some stuff after this well then you would get in trouble because this wouldn't be done and this would be done and and just to sort of make sure that this is going to run asynchronously we are waiting a promise dot all so we're waiting for all of the promises to be done and because the for each is not really working that well with asynchronous code because it's not asynchronous, then we are just using map. To map through that those uh, items, then we're putting them in this current item, and then in here we're gonna be working with the item in the RSS feed. Then we are just checking if that item already exists, and if it doesn't already exist, then we're just pushing it on to this items array. Then we're just saving the file. So we are taking that file name and then we're stringifying the items. And that is really all. It's a very short program. But if we just delete these files here and run our program here, you can see that we get this vincentlab-json file, which is now storing all of our stuff. So if we just quickly format this, you can see that we get the same data. I really encourage you to go out and find a lot of different RSS feeds for websites. You might get some useful data that you can use for your websites or for other applications. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.